Hey you guys, and welcome to another Black Friday movie haul thing. This will probably be the last one, even though technically those other ones I got on Black Friday, but yeah, whatever. But these will be the last time I went to Walmart and bought a whole lot of DVDs that I probably shouldn't have. But anyway, let's start off with something I actually watched before, but I haven't seen in a really long time. It is Fight Club. Yes, and a lot of you guys may know this movie, and it stars <laughs> Edward Norton and Brad Pitt, and yeah, so this is, you know, rule one of Fight Club. You don't talk about Fight Club. Really, who hasn't seen this movie before? Apparently, uh, a lot of people, but let's see. Edward Norton gives a riveting performance as a label-obsessed insomniac on the verge of going postal befriending a scrummy soap salesman. He embarks on an existential crusade that takes them both to the brutal, raw heights of their manhood. So, this is an interesting movie. I really enjoyed it when I was younger. I haven't watched it since I got it because I plan on reading the book first. And I actually have the book now. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the book, then watch the movie again and try to do a book versus movie sort of thing so yeah but most of you guys probably already seen this one and probably know everything that happens but uh, I'm so glad I'm extending my blu-ray collection and then I got this I mean well you know that's how it looks awesome <clears throat> then the next movie that I got was Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So this tells a backstory of how the plant of how the apes came to take over the planet. So and this one stars John Lithgow, uh, Tom Felton. You guys remember him? He played Draco Malfoy, and then James Franco and Andy Sedaris. Garrett Sudeikis as the ape and you know Andy also played a uh, golem he does all the motion stuff and kind of movements like that <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna read the back for you guys let's see a chimpanzee who gains human-like intelligence and emotions form from an experimental jug raised like a child by the drug's creator Caesar ultimately finds himself taken from the humans he loves and imprisoned seeking Justin Caesar Caesars and simulates a simian army and escapes, putting man and primate on a collision course that could change the planet forever. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, I know this used to be like a TV show. I think I hadn't really seen that many episodes of it. The most of the Planet of the Apes stuff that I remember is that movie with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I really like that movie, so I'm hoping to get that one too. So, I hope this one is just as good because I haven't seen it yet. So. The next movie I'd already seen in theaters, I think, or we rented it, I'm not sure, but I can't wait to see it again, and it is X-Men First Class. Yes, I'm so excited to own this movie, and this one stars, let me see, James McAvoy and Michael Fist, Fassbender and January Jones, Kevin Bacon, and like a whole lot of other people. Um... Michael Fassbender plays Magneto when he's younger, and James McAvoy plays Professor X when he's younger, I believe. So, yeah, that's interesting. And I like to see how the X-Men came to be and the cameos from uh, other people. But, yeah, I'm really excited to watch this again, and this is how it looks. And I actually own the other three X-Men and the Wolverine movie on DVD. I'm thinking about um, upgrading them to uh, Blu-ray also, but yeah, that's a lot of money to be doing that, so I will see about that later. Plus, I might have to wait because there'll probably be like three X-Men movies, it makes no sense to buy a box set now, and they'll probably do a box set later. So, <clears throat> next movie um, is Project X, which is just a film about a party. It says, Project X follows three seemingly anonymous high school seniors as they attempt to finally make a name for themselves. Their idea is innocent enough. Let's throw a party that no one will forget, but nothing would prepare them for this party. World spreads quickly as dreams are ruined and records are blemished and legends are born. In this movie, because I saw it already, I saw it like a couple of days ago, was amazing at first. I was just like, uh, then you're watching this party as it rapidly gets out of control, and you're just like, 
I didn't think it could go there. Like, seriously, I didn't think it would go there. There's just one part that I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. And the funny thing is, I know a lot of people have been trying to, um, after this movie came out, try to throw parties like this, and they've been shut down by the police or the people catch it. One person put it on Craigslist or something. Everybody come to this party. We're going to throw a Project S party. And they had like Twitter things going on after this movie. And I'm just like, I haven't seen the movie yet. But I'm just like, that can come of no good. Like, you know, when things are destroyed, people have to fix them. Your parents will probably kill you. Just saying. But it was an awesome movie. <clears throat> and I'll do a review for that. But okay, so the reason I went back to Walmart in the first place was not to get any of those four movies. They just came along for the ride. It was to get these movies, <clears throat> which I will show you. And the first is The Fast and the Furious. The original uh, has Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. And you guys know, let me uh, read the back. They got adrenaline rush and mean machines, but most of all, they got the extreme need for speed. On the turbo dark streets of Los Angeles, every night is a championship race. Right night in Bruce Ferry, Dominic Toledo rules the road, turning all his challenges into dust. He and his rival, Johnny Tran, are the boldest, the baddest, and the best. But now there's a new rage on the road. They know he's tough, they know he's fast, but what they don't know is he's a speed demon detective with enough drive and determination to come out the winner. So, yeah, basically, Paul Walker's character goes undercover into, like, this road people kind of thing, I guess, to try to take them for something. And so, yeah, I haven't seen the original one in such a long time. And this is how this disc looks. Too bad they didn't give me the DVD also, but... And then, of course, that means I got Too Fast, Too Furious, which is the second one. And it stars Paul Walker and Tyrese, which is a good one. Also... And then we have the one that most people would love to blemish from their memory, and that is Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. And I actually stood there in Walmart debating whether to get this one or not, because I was just like, do I really want to? It wasn't that good of a movie. But anyway, this is how the Too Fast, Too Furious disc looks. And then Tokyo Drive, which, you know, I ultimately got, because <clears throat> I was just like, well, I want the whole series. And it wasn't too bad, but... It's kind of like you should have had the original people in it and not just had like a small cameo for one of them at the end. And here we go. Because it added nothing to the franchise. I mean, like, we never saw this boy again. Um, and then we got Fast and the Furious, which is the fourth one. Which is awesome. And it has all the original people from the first one. So it has Paul Walker and Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez and Jordan Brewster. And uh, Michelle Rodriguez plays... Um, uh, Dominic, aka um, Vin Diesel's girlfriend, and you know Jordan Brewster plays his brother, who is dating Paul Walker's sort of character on and off again. And this one has a digital copy disc and a Blu-ray, so that's how that one is. And then we get to the last one, which is Fast Five, which again has not only the original people, but you know, the Tyrese also comes in in this one. He's from the second one. And they all, this one was awesome. I really love this one. Because it also has Dwayne The Rock Johnson in this one as well. And he's the people who are hunting them this time around. I'm not sure if you guys have actually kept up with all that. But I have. I have. And then this one has the DVD and the Blu-ray. And I would talk more about the these ones in depth, but I don't want to spoil it just in case you, for some reason, haven't seen all of them. But let me just say, The Fast and the Furious is awesome, and there is going to be a sixth and seventh movie, and I think they're going to be done after that, because the next one is going to be a two-parter. So, yeah, <clears throat> I know, right? I love Fast and the Furious, and if only we can blemish the Tokyo Drive one, or they just work it in somehow, then then we'll see why they decided that was a good idea at all but you know it wasn't the worst movie ever but you know in the franchise yes everybody forgets that they have it like most people are like they have a third one there there's mm, yeah basically what everybody says so i went there for these and ended up getting these two so that is the end of my black friday haul so as you can see i went a little movie crazy but um yeah so you guys tell me what did you guys get 
in the Black Friday thing. Did you guys see any of these movies? Uh, did you like them? Did you hate them? Would you like a review on any of the movies that I just did? <laughs> any of the movies that you saw that I bought? Just let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys later. So see you. Hey, look, I think this is the fourth day of my videos for a week. So I think I'm, I'm doing good, right? Right? Any specific video you would like to see, TV show, things that you know I've watched that you would like my opinion on or that I haven't seen yet that you want me to watch because I really have to catch up with like Arrow and Hunt Upon Time and stuff like that. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop talking now. And... Go film other videos for my other channel. Yeah, I should be doing hopefully a review. I don't know yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go because now I'm just, huh, laters, you guys.